Halili, and welcome to The Score, where we tackle the hottest and trending topics in sports. The USC Golden Tigresses remain on track for a Final Four berth, while the Athena Lady Eagles march their 10th straight postseason appearance. And joining me to discuss the weekend's UAP women's volleyball matches, we have... Our analysts today, Sinjin Reyes and Jem Ferrer. Hi, guys. Hello, Tini Okay, one more weekend check. And mm-hmm. then uh, let's talk about uh, the players that performed well over the weekend. Let's start with that Ateneo win over NU. Ateneo now at 10-1. And, and you both uh, f- uh, feel that Jules Samonte deserves a lot of credit from the, uh, for that win by Ateneo. Is that right, Jim? Yes. Uh, I think si Jules kasi it's a new career high for her. And we all know naman during the first round, she was kind of struggling sa performance niya. So parang si Coach Oliver parang naging uh, confident kasi alam naman niya kung ano talaga yung totoong laro ni Jules Samonte. Explosive game from the veteran of the Ateneo squad. It's weird to call <laughs> Jules a veteran at this point. But Jules really performed pretty well, really explosive. We saw how she delivered a lot of down-the-line kills, which really um, put the mark on NU na parang kailangan bantayan ng isang Jules Samonte. And that's what's important for the Ateneo squad, na magkaroon ng threat. Because you know that Kat, Maddie, Bea will always be contributing their points, their... Um, attacks there. Yeah, but, kahit sa depensa niya eh, nakabawi talaga si Jules eh. It's interesting that you bring up a Jules Samonte when Ateneo has all, all these other big name players like BDL, Madi Madaya, Kat Tolentino, Dina Wong, and yet, uh, you know, to, to uh, give the spotlight to Jules, uh, I mean, what does that mean for Ateneo at this part of the tournament? Uh, I think kasi yung like Bea De Leon, Madi Madaya, Kat Tolentino, given na yan eh, na parang makagawa sila ng magandang puntos for Ateneo. Siyempre, uh, si Jules, kailangan pa rin siya inside the court para malaking tulong, especially last night, parang lima sila inside the court, nag-double digit sila. So, laking factor nun para sa team talaga. It's, it all boils down to a collective effort. Hindi lang pwedeng Jules, Maddie, Bea lagi. Kasi at a certain point, mababantayan at mababantayan sila. This is the second round. The teams already know kung paano gumalaw yung Ateneo. So, they really need Jules Pongay to step up. Even Vani, pag pinapasok si Vani, has to step up as well. Let's move to that LaSalle win over the Adamson Lady Falcons. And I'm glad we're getting to talk about Jolina De La Cruz again. Had a hot start to this tournament. Mm-hmm. And uh, if she gets a hot finish... It's a perfect way to really help LaSalle move to the Final Four. How did Jolina perform against Adams on Jen? Uh, si Jolina, she was able to contribute 13 points last night. So, ang ganda nung pinakita ni Jolina. Although, sa previous games natin, na-miss natin yung performance si Jolina eh. Uh, last night, ang ganda nung pinakita niya. So, nakabawi siya. Tumbatan to parang. For me, ang tapang niya as a rookie, may kita mo inside the court na confident siya maglaro. Hindi na parang iniisip niya, rookie lang ako. So, ito yung perform ko. Hindi, para na siyang veteran talaga inside the court. I think Jolina stood out not just offensively in attacking, but one great factor was yung depensa, yung blocks. And syempre, yung aces na kinontribute yes. niya. Ang hirap ng mga serve na binibigay niya sa Adamson. And doon talaga natin nakita na may maturity na yung bata. For you to target the right player, and I'm sure with the direction of Coach Shamil, hindi nakagulat-gulat yun. But really, for you to know where to bring the ball, who to target, that's really a good sign for LaSalle, especially that they're trying to get a comeback here in Season 81. Uh, LaSalle moving up to 8-3 and three with that win over Adamson. Let's go to that FU win over UP. Uh, this, this was that game uh, over the weekend that had major uh, impact on the Final Four race because these are two Final Four contenders. Uh, you, you had different uh, player picks no, yes. for, for, for this match. Uh, Jem, I'll start with you. Uh, Buding Doremdes uh, is, I, I think everyone loves it the way she plays, her energy, her never say die attitude on the court for FEU. Siguro yung performance ni Buding last uh, Saturday, sobrang ganda kasi parang si UP, sobrang pinahirapan niya eh. Yung tipong akala mo mamamatay na yung bola, point na siya, pero may kita mo si Buding biglang nandoon, lilitaw. So for me, ang galing magbasa ni Buding and Medyo nag-struggle siya during the second set. Parang tinanong pa nga siya ni Coach George, why are so serious? Sumagot siya, bawal na po ba maging seryoso? So parang siguro nakita ni Coach George na kung sobrang seryoso mo inside the court, magiging stiff ka eh, mahirapan ka mag-perform. So parang ang dami pumapasok sa isip mo. So buti naman nakabawi siya ng third set and fourth set talaga. 
You know, I love how Buding performed, and I would call her the meme lord of season 81. But to add to Buding's performance, what one great factor was also Jaylee Malabanan, Tito Mika, because si Jaylee is the person that we've been waiting to step up in this FU squad. Laika Ebon is not there anymore to score and rack the points. So another wing spiker has to step up. In one of their games, it was Ivan Agudo. But in this game, it was really Jerry Lee's time. And it's really time for Jaylee to step up because she's the senior, she's the captain. Her leadership ha has to be there, not just as her presence, but also when she scores for the squad. All right, so FEU moving up to 7-4, and four, UP sliding down to 6-5 and five after that match. Uh, finally, UST winning over UE, and you both believe that Isabel Jimenez uh, deserves the spotlight uh, with that performance over the weekend. Um, si Isabel Jimenez, kasi she really played well. Parang tinawag siya bigla ni Coach Kung Fu, palitan mo kasi may hindi nagpa-perform inside the court. So, ang hirap nung naging trabaho niya, coming from the bench, kasi syempre malamig ka sa labas, tapos you're expected to deliver agad inside the court pagkapasok mo. We're talking about a rookie here who's going against her former alma mater, dati siyang taga UE. And Isa Jimenez is perf uh, performed really well and is a show that she could be in the future of UST, in the future plans of Coach Kung Fu. But what we saw here was just a glimpse of what Jimenez can do. And it was nice to see na may bagong mukha na pwedeng asahan yung UST, especially when they don't have their usual scorers, pag wala sa we show yung mga usual scorers nila. But what we saw here is Isa Jimenez playing the support role to the Lauron Dina combination. Um, with your choice of Isa Jimenez, does this put UST in a good position? Dahil, you, you know, uh, so they lost uh, Alessandrini and then uh, there's a lot of pressure on A. Lauri to deliver. There's tremendous pressure on Cici Rondina to, to deliver. Does this mean na nakakaharap na sila na iba pang weapons to really help them for that final four push? Um, yes, kasi syempre, hindi naman natin ma-expect na lahat yan magpa-perform everyday on yung game ng kada player. So parang dapat yung mga nasa bench, kailangan talaga ding makatulong. So pag pinasok ka, deliver ka, pakita mo kung anong nilalaro mo talaga. Kasi pare-pareho lang naman kayo ng tinitraining eh. I think this is the thrust of Coach Kung Fu na after that loss against Lasal. Kwento to ni Makaila Chavez, the court reporter of USD, na grinupo daw niya yung USD squad. Tapos kinausap lang yung players, ball session sila sa dugout. And one thing na hinihingi ni Coach Kung Fu is yung sa, yung sa bench daw, dapat handa daw sila at any moment. And they should also cheer for their teammates. And cheering for their teammates, I think, includes being ready to come in at any moment. And that's what's important when you see this young player for USD like Isa Jimenez. And there you go, uh, Sinjin and Jem uh, putting the spotlight on Jules Amonte of Ateneo, Jolina de la Cruz of Lasal, Jerry Malabanan and Buding Dorendes of FEU, and Isa Jimenez of UST. We're not yet done with Jem and Sinjin. When we return, the Lady Tamaraos, the Lady Maroons, the Tigresses, all will continue their battle for possible Final Four spots on Wednesday. We'll give you that preview when we return. I'm sorry.